Hey everyone, welcome to this week's video update. Let's take a quick look at the markets and then we will jump into the trades. Today is Friday, September 15th. All right, so first volatility. Uh, the VIX was in massive contraction mode. In fact, it hit a new low, new recent low uh, that was back June 22nd, I think it was at 12.73 was the low. Today it ticked below that, 12.68 before firing up on the sell-off. So uh, VIX still under 14, but got a little bit of a bump today. Uh, S&P, with all that back and forth, CPI, PPI ended up almost, I mean, just a little bit below where we opened up on Monday. So a whole lot of movement for nothing. Uh, similar with the NASDAQ, Russell also back and forth, Dow choppy back and forth as well. Gold uh, started started lower, then closed higher. Same with silver. Uh, notes and bonds a little bit lower on the week. Ten-year yield back up above 4.3. Oil continues its strength up above $91 a barrel. Natty gas uh, kind of back and forth sideways. Soybeans sideways. Wheat sideways. Corn sideways. Euro, a little bit lower, although it got a bounce today. Same with uh, the pound, lower as well. And then Bitcoin popped its head back above the $26,000 level. All right, so there's the market. Let's take a look at our um, trades for the week. So starting with zero DTE, nice week for zero DTE, up a little over 12,000 on the week, 61.5% uh, win rate overall. Let's break these down by the different strategies. We'll just go in order here. AM ratio trades uh, had f uh, three winners, one loser for a net of a little over $8,400 on the AM trade. So the only loser was the one today. Got smoked out of that one on that down move that we had. DKS, the Dick K special, ended up taking a loss on a big loss on that one. And that was today as well. A little over 5,000. A um, couple little winners, minus 4,300 on those for the week. Zero DTE duck, just one of those. And that was today as well, minus 5,000. So as you can see, my day did not start off very good on a Friday, although Power Hour did take me home and uh, help out quite a bit. Uh, JSPs, just sell puts, a uh, few losers here. Three of these are discretionary. You see, I had one nice winner. Uh, a couple losers, another lo loser there. So net net on the JSPs, um, basically a scratch, up five dollars for the week. On Power Hour, so Power Hour, uh, very nice week. Make sure that's correct. Uh, yeah, a little over twenty-three thousand dollars in Power Hour this week. You can see on Monday, Tranche One and Tranche Two were nice winners. Tranche Three was a small scratch loser. Uh, that is not correct. Actually, now that I look at it, those were just my longs. Oh, I know what it was. No? Yeah. Yeah, no, no there's the sell. Okay. Okay, yeah, that's right. Um, on Tuesday, tranche one, nice winner. Tranche two, loser. Tranche three, winner. So net, net, winner on Tuesday. Wednesday, Tranche one was a winner. Tranche two was a small loser. Tranche three was a winner. So net nice winner on Wednesday. Thursday was a just a barely a winner. Tranche one was the big winner. Tranche two and three were losers. And then today, after a terrible morning, uh, Power Hour came through and gave me uh, nice winners on all three tranches. So net plus twenty three thousand for the week. Uh, on the PM ratio, iron condors. Uh, just two of those trades, two losers, uh, minus 8,100 on those. And then the quiet lunches did well. Three trades. Oops, let me refresh that. Did I get all those? Yeah. So three trades uh, plus 2,500 on the quiet lunches. Those continue to do well. And then lastly, the reverse iron condor, my buddy Rick. Uh, one loser, and then I took one yesterday. I put it as discretionary. I, I borrowed it from uh, 
A couple ladies in the community, Vegas Michelle and Theta Junkie, posted a uh, their test for Thursdays, and so I ended up jumping on that, even though my normal criteria didn't fit. So I put it as discretionary, but that ended up being a being a winner there. So one loser, one winner. The loser was bigger than the winner, but that's how that's how you play with Rick. Um, all right, so that's all for zero DTE on the dynamic butterfly front. Uh, took a flathead woodpecker off for a thousand bucks. Exactly. Uh, time fly off for a little over a thousand bucks. So a couple thousand dollars in booked profits on butterflies. Uh, dynamic calendars started off rough with my three, five and three, six, uh, taking those off on Monday morning for losses. Let me get all these checked make sure we don't miss anything. So, yeah, plus $1,800 on the week for calendars. Had a nice 6.7 for plus $1,100. Uh, here's the 3.6 and the 3.5 that each lost close to $1,200. Uh, small loss on a TGIF for $375. And then the bed and breakfast, nice, nice winners this week. One for $570, one for $660, one for $700, one for $640, one for $540. So those, uh, those continue to do well. So that's it for the calendars. Uh, iron Ducks. Did not close any out, so just opened opened that one. Uh, no NTT trades, OS options selling, and hedgehogs. So took off a short strangle in MES for a few hundred bucks. Uh, uh, the 6E, that one's still open, so those are just credits booked so far. MES took off another short strangle for a couple hundred, and the others are open. And then portfolio margin. Get all these checked. So we have a group specifically for, for those who have portfolio margin accounts. Uh, took a little scratch winner on a, what we call a super fly in um, SPX. Uh, $650 winner on a PM Hedgehog. $270 winner on a strategy we call the Humpty Dance, the Humpty Dumpty. Um, the, this golden shark, it's showing plus 5,000 still open, but we have a, uh, a vertical part of that that's at max loss. So that'll actually be about a thousand dollar winner. So, um, and then another Humpty Dumpty for plus 765 and a, another time fly for over 1300 and the rest of these are open. So those are all the trades. That's your market update. Hope everybody has a good weekend. We'll chat with you soon.